A woman who has made Arkansas history faces a fight for political survival this election year. Two-term Senator Blanche Lincoln is the first Arkansan and first woman to chair the powerful U.S. Senate Agriculture Committee. But it's a tough year to be a Democrat, even of the blue dog, fiscal, fiscally conservative breed. Good morning. Good morning. The senator and Governor Mike Beebe came to Mark Tree to celebrate political gold this election season, new jobs. What an exciting day for Mark Tree, and this is truly an awesome announcement. Awesome cleaning products agreed to bring 90 to 100 jobs to Mark Tree but only after Senator Lincoln went to work on funding for a rail spur to the plant. And Mike always, she delivers. She's always delivered. She's been delivering for a long time. And Blanche, we're grateful to you for all you do. This, uh, this rail and this factory is going to be a major improvement to Mark Tree. In a very short period of time, with Senator Blanche Lincoln, they put together the incentive package. Businesses all over Arkansas could say the same thing about their senior senator. So why is Blanche Lincoln so far down in the polls? There's a lot of anxiety about what's happening in Washington. There are polar extremes up there. You've got the Democrats in their foxhole and the Republicans in their foxhole, and very few people dare to come out on the battlefield to look for that common ground that really solves our problems. And that's, that's what I do. I'm out on that battlefield. She has the scars to prove it. Unions spent millions trying to unseat Lincoln this summer, backing Lieutenant Governor Bill Halter in a bitter primary fight. Lincoln prevailed, but she voted for President Obama's health care reform and economic stimulus that have Arkansans anxious. I am a daughter of the Delta. I grew up in East Arkansas in a seventh-generation Arkansas farm family. Lincoln told the Blyville Chamber of Commerce her cloud chairing the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry means more work for Arkansans. The Senate Committee on Agriculture is a pipeline for jobs and opportunities for our state. Lincoln is a political prodigy. She was elected to East Arkansas's first congressional district seat in 1992, the year fellow Arkansan Bill Clinton won the presidency. She helped start the Blue Dog Democrats, fiscal conservatives. She moved up to the Senate in 98, just 38 years old, youngest woman ever elected senator. Now 50, she's scrambling for survival. It's the fight of my life. I think, quite frankly, when people look at my record, they can realize that I'm probably one of the most independent voices in Washington. I I stand up to the president, I stand up to my own party, I stand up to the other side if it's not good for Arkansas. In a year dominated by Tea Party politics and a sputtering economy. It's tough to be a moderate, I can tell you, <laughs> firsthand. There are no guarantees, even if your name is Lincoln. We'll profile Senator Lincoln's Republican opponent, the Arkansas Congressman from Northwest Arkansas, John Bozeman, tomorrow night on Action News 5 at 6. Check out our Decision 2010 page on WMCTV.com. We've posted sample ballots for every Mid-South County, and you can download the League of Women Voters Election Guide. You still have roughly 45 minutes to cast your ballot during early voting if you live in Shelby County. Today is the last day before the November 2nd election. You have until 7 tonight. In fact, if you live in all of Tennessee, for a list of early voting locations, just log on to our website at WMCTV.com and click on the Decision 2010 section on our homepage. And, of course, Action News 5 is the station for complete Mid-South coverage. NBC will be live beginning at 8 p.m. next Tuesday night with updates on the country's midterm elections. Action News 5 will also be live at the top and bottom of every hour with the latest results from Mid-South races. We'll keep track throughout the evening with expert analysis and a ticker at the bottom of your television screen. And then sit back for a special extended version of Action